The National Assembly today resumed from its eight-week recess after reading President Muhammad Buhari's request uh, seeking the confirmation of the nation's new military service chiefs, four new ambassadorial nominees, among others. Both chambers adjourned till Wednesday in honor of Honorable OC Prestige of the House of Representatives who died during the break. Arise political editor Somna Sambo reports. The National Assembly resumed plenary after about eight weeks' recess due to end-of-year festivities. And when both chambers resumed plenary, it did not last for so long because of one of the late members of the House of Representatives, Honorable O.C. Prestige, who passed on during the recess. And as a result of that, only executive communication was read out, especially at the Senate chamber, where we had the Senate president reading out letters from President Muhammad Buhari requesting the screening and confirmation of the new ambassadorial nominees that comprise former service chiefs of the Nigerian Armed Forces. And also, in another executive communication, President Muhammad Buhari is seeking the confirmation of the new military service chiefs that he has appointed. This is a first, considering that previous administrations in Nigeria had not always done that. But with a new court ruling, the federal government is now obeying such judgment. I have the honor to forward for confirmation by the Senate the underlisted five names of nominees as non-career ambassadors designate. Copies of their curriculum vitae are attached here with one, General Abayo Miji Oleni Shaikin, retired Ekiti State. Lieutenant General Tukur Buratai, retired Borno State. Vice Admiral Ibok Ete E. Ibas, retired Crossiva State. Air Marshal Sadiq B. Abubakar, retired Bochi State. And Air Vice Marshal Mohammed S. Usman, retired Kano State. I also have an announcement uh, from Mr. President, or a letter from Mr. President, on. Um, the new service chiefs. The reason why I'm pushing all this, pushing all this back <clears throat> till tomorrow, because it is unfortunate and sad, with a very heavy heart, I want to announce the death of our colleague, Honorable O.C. Prestige. On the other paper today, earlier listed was the general insecurity in Nigeria and uh, it was sponsored by Senator Borofis Robert Ajayi who's also the deputy senate leader. Now this uh, motion had wanted to deal with the issues of the general insecurity concerning the farmer header clashes across Nigeria and the threat of evicting certain persons in certain parts of the country. But all of these motions and other bills for consideration were set aside in honor of the departed House of Representatives members and this is in line with the traditions of both chambers of the National Assembly when any member is dead. Somna Sambo, Arise News. Arise political editor Somna Sambo joins us now to take us through a major political developments in the country including the ongoing membership registration and revalidation and the resumption of the National Assembly. So, uh, Somna, let's start from just exactly that, the revalidation. We saw a report there where uh, the former chairman of the APC, uh, Chief Oshimole, was saying that um, it looks as if it's unnecessary. It's a double, uh, I don't know, the, I can't remember the word he chose to use, but it's a duplication of the record that they have. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean... There are some critical issues here at stake, and it has to do with uh, the different segments of the APC. Uh, as you, you and our viewers are well aware, in 2014, we actually had this uh, 2013 through 2014, three to four aspects of political parties, different groups actually coming up to form the APC. And now, uh, as we head towards 2023, the soul of the party is, uh, you know, what these groups are all fighting about right now. The point made critically by Oshomole seems to be very clear, that the party's registration exercise done in 2014 still subsists. And if it still subsists, why are you asking already registered members to revalidate? Now, if you're asking them to revalidate, does it nullify the previous 
registration that they had done. And what Oshomole is saying is that he is a foundation member, and there are so many of uh, his likes in 2014 who had registered, and he presented even President Buhari's own registration uh, uh, slip to, to him when they did all of this. And if you look at what the interim national chairman of the APC then, Chief Bisi Akonde, has said, that it looks like there's a deliberate attempt to actually uh, leave that register that was there. Instead of um, updating it, what they are doing is asking the entire member. So, you know, this uh, uh, group of people who have been speaking actually are coming from the uh, ACN faction, if we may call it that way, of the APC. Well, if you don't mind yes, me well, questioning yeah, yeah. what the CPC yeah. guys yeah. and what the uh, 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 AMPP guys are doing. Because so let me just be clear, yeah, sorry. Then, Somna, that there may just be immediate and other remote uh, undertones. Yeah, yes, I mean, there are fears, like I said. Uh, what exactly are those? Th those fears are, are being expressed by the Bola Tinobu and ACN group within the APC. Now, when they went into merger in 2014, the, AP the ACN then, uh, Action Congress of Nigeria, had mm. the highest number of governors, then followed by the CPC, which had only one governor, Tanko Makura of the CPC then, uh, he's now a senator. Mm -hmm. And then you had Rocha Sokorocha, who was one leg in mm -hmm. uh, Abga and then one leg out. And then, of course, you had uh, other groups like the AMPP and all of that. So in all of this, the soul of the party ahead of 2023 is what they are discussing about right now. Because, uh, the, for example, the CPC is saying that all the former national chairmen of the APC have come from the ACN, starting with, uh, starting with BC Akonde, mm. coming to... Uh, 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 and then... Uh, no. uh, uh, so, sorry, his, his name does... Uh, uh, Oyegun. Oyegun, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah. Oyegun, and then from Oyegun, we had Oshomole. And, and then uh, now you have the Malabuni led. Yes, which is just an interim uh, uh, committee. Mm. Now, if we are going towards 2023, and there are these talks that they, they, there's this agreement for the uh, chairmanship to go to the north while the presidential ticket goes to the south, then it means that the CPC should actually have the chairmanship ticket. And mm. that's what the Nas Nasara State Governor is saying, that the CPC should provide the national chairmanship as the groups from the south keep agitating for the presidential ticket to go to the south. You know, uh, Somna, so much has been said about the fact that the CPC, APC, and all the legacy parties that actually came together mm -hmm. to form the APC, that the fault lines really have never been, you know, papered over, that the party really uh, has really never been one in the real uh, sense of it. Is that what we're seeing playing out? And what are the implications of that going into 2023? Yeah, yeah very quickly, um, as we head towards 2023, we are going to see this happening. Because like uh, people like uh, Bola Tinobu, who represent the APC uh, um, a, a group, has been saying that they, they actually want to produce the next presidential candidate from the party. While some are saying that, look, although it looks like there was an agreement, but we feel that if, for example, the opposition People's Democratic Party is going to produce a candidate uh, from the northern part of the country, we feel that the APC should still bring a candidate from the north. And that's why I see people like uh, Governor Yaya Bello being optimistic about that. And mm. there are some governors, too, within the APC that are saying that, look, even if it's coming to the south, we don't think it should go to the ACN uh, group led by Bola Tinubu, people like Kaya Defayemi, who's the governor of Ekiti State, yes. feel that they should be given the opportunity. And that's why I see people like El Rufai to Governor El Rufai of Kaduna State are thinking that, look, they just need to uh, uh, support this exercise. If you see what Governor Fayemi has said, he has clearly said that what uh, Chief Bisi Akonde has said does not really hold value because he APC Constitution says in Section 9 that it, the, the registration can be revalidated every six months and all of that. But mm. look at what Oshomole also said. What now happens to the previous registration that had been done? But then another group says, well, for example, the registration done for the Southwest was, was, was kept in the house of one person instead of bringing the <laughs> registration list to Abuja. And so they are saying that they don't want these legacy parties to actually play a role in the membership. So that's why this interim committee should do a fresh exercise that doesn't have the input of the former ACN, the former or CPC, any the, or any no, of them. The, the question just before we, you, you go then. Okay, unfortunately, <laughs> I've just been told by my producers that we can't take this question.